This Longines Conquest Heritage wristwatch dates to circa 2009. It's based on the original 1950s Conquest. It has a silvered satin finished dial with applied indexes which are faceted. And there are three subsidiary counters which are engine turned. So these have minute recording on the left, hour recording at the base. So those are for when the chronograph is running. And then there's also a constant seconds dial to the right hand side. Aperture for date at 12 o'clock. So the chronograph is started and stopped via the upper pusher. So you press once to start, sets the chronograph running. Then if you press again, it stops and the lower pusher resets to zero. So we can leave that running. This will start counting minutes on the left side now. So the stainless steel case has a faceted bezel. There are chamfers to the edges of the lugs. Longines crown to the side. Then a screw down case back. And then, like the original design, it has a plaque to the centre, a gold plaque to the centre with an enamel gold decoration. It's an automatic model, so it'll wind itself as it's being worn. However, if it's laying dawn for a period of time and needs to be restarted, that can be achieved by turning the crown. So first of all, I'm going to reset the chronograph now. So you can see that the minute counter is already advancing in slight increment towards the first minute. So we reset now. So if you turn the crown away from you, the wearer, you'll need to do it several times if the watch has stopped and that will then restart it. And then when you're wearing it, of course, it'll wind itself. So to advance the time, the crown has two settings. So I'm putting up to the second setting there. Then you can advance the hands. And then if you note the date will change at midnight like that. There's also a quick date change facility. So we press the crown back towards the body of the watch. If you pull out to the first crown setting, so the first click, you can then advance the date. If you roll the crown towards you, it advances. The watch is also fitted to a Longines strap. And this has a steel Longines ping buckle as well.